Dude, I cannot express the words of how happy I am that the Pokemon trailer video got over 100 views. That just doesn't happen to my channel. If it's not Pikmin, it gets no views. But I'm actually really impressed on how the video did. It's pretty cool. Now, I said the video was going to come out on February 3rd because I thought that was a Friday. It it's not. I'm filming this on a Friday right now. I don't know if it will come out, but the rest of the videos will come out on a Friday. This is the first of three, and, you know, the secret fourth one. And our main question for today is how did Pokemon get so mid? I said this in the last video, but Pokemon went from peak RPGs to mid RPGs. Come on. And I've traced it down to two things in which we will talk about specifically today. One being 3D. I don't know why 3D. It's, it's, it'll make sense later. And Pokemon Black and White, the best Pokemon games. I've played almost every single Pokemon game on their respective console, besides Red and Blue, which I can easily get because, well, I can buy a fake one, and Pokemon Black and White too. You can't buy fake ones of those, they're like $200. And I don't know about you, but I don't have enough money for that. But to help me, you know, maybe subscribe so I can get monetized? I'm just saying. Well, you might be saying, Miles, you said Black and White are the best ones, how did it kill the franchise? Well, I believe it comes down to two components. The fans' reaction, and the story. Now, hear me out. The story was very, 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 very good. I like it a lot. Pretty much everything about this game is perfect. But, but the fans didn't really think so. They absolutely hated the new designs of the Pokemon. Which would be fine. You could just use the old ones. Right? Oh, wait. No, you can't. Yeah, you only have to use the new ones. Oh, why did they do that? Well, I'll give you a specific answer right now. Imagine it's 2010. Pokemon's last game came out in 2008. It's, it's done for. Nobody cares about Pokemon. That's, that's for silly geeks and nerds. I mean, it still is, but like... The Pokemon company was scrambling, bro. They, they, were, they were wild back then. They had to make Pokemon popular again. And you know what they do when Pokemon isn't doing good? They bring back Kanto. Now, hear me out here. I have a little game theory. Rip Matt Pat, but... Pokemon Black and White are Kanto remakes. Hear me out, okay? Just hear me out. 151 Pokemon. Well, 156 in Black and White, but I digress. And they wanted to recapture that magic of Pokemon Red and Blue, because of course they do. They always want to do that. And whoever thought it was a good idea to get rid of every single Pokemon but the new ones and make the new ones trash, fire that dude. Fire him right now. I mean, he probably is fired, though. They, pro they probably replaced him with this dude. I hate this guy. Now, you might be asking right now, okay, who is, who's in charge of, like, all the... Who's taking all the shots at Pokemon? It's this guy, Jinichi Masuda, and he's an op, bro. He's an op. I swear, bro, this guy is a fetish for Kanto. Probably bring him back to the good old days. He's, like, 90 right now. Which, on paper, this recapturing the magic thing was, like, a really good idea. But in execution, it really sucked. I've been dunking on Pokemon Black and White. But it's actually a really good game, though. But as I previously stated, the fans really did not think so. And well, you might be thinking, Miles, you said people think this is the best Pokemon game. Why did they hate it back then? Well, it comes back to the toilet. Try not to get too personal here, but imagine you're on the toilet, doing whatever you, doing whatever you do on the toilet. And then you just kind of just start standing around. In my bathroom, there's a nice little sign that says, you never know what you have until it's gone. Toilet paper, for instance. Ah, how funny. Yeah, right. But if you apply that to a Pokemon? Bro. And using this way of thinking, people have come up with the Pokemon cycle. It starts when a new game comes out, and people absolutely hate it. Then, like, two months later, a new game gets announced, and everybody's hyped. And then it comes out, and everybody hates it. And now they suddenly like the old game again. Like, for example, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield. I hate Sword and Shield. I think this is a horrible game. But apparently, the way bigger game, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, is worse. Which makes no sense. It's a million times better. Even though it's not a very good game, it's better than Sword and Shield. Well, you could also apply this to Black and White. People hated it when it first came out because the new designs were bad. And they couldn't have their Charizards. And now, you can only have Charizard. It's like the one time they listened to fans was when they weren't printing money. This is going to come into play later, trust me. 
And so they heavily, like heavily studied what people didn't like about black and white and then just did the opposite. Oh, you want the old Pokemon? Okay, we'll, we'll give you a lot of old Pokemon. Pikachu? Yeah, you love that Charizard? You love that guy, don't you? But one thing that I have been saying is all the designs in black and white are trash. Not really, okay? But all the good designs you get at the very end of the game because they're so hard to get. It's like they set up this really good game for failure. Come on, bro. And yeah, that's how, you know, black and white, they, they absolutely killed the franchise by being so good. If you want a better example than what I'll ever be able to provide, look at this video by Cassidy Hunt. He's, he's a really cool guy. I, I got the video idea from him. Don't cancel me for plagiarism, please. Okay, let's talk about 3D. When talking about 3D, I kind of just want to leave something for you to think about. Games are constantly getting bigger. Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You get the point. And a new generation of Pokemon comes out every three years. They've kept this up since 1996. Don't you think that three-year time limit is going to take a strain on the series? Just think about it. That's all I'm going to say. Do you think that's hurting the franchise? Put a pin on that one, all right? I'm going to leave it at that. Think about that until next week the ninth. This will probably come out on a Sunday, so it's not that long. See you later. Whoa! Before you go, I've kind of been, like, hinting some Pikmin Plush video things. So, like, yeah, I've had that video in the vault for, like, two months. And next week, I'm gonna post the trailer for it. Yippee! It's not gonna come out for a very, very long time. But I'm just saying, keep that on your radar. Keep, keep the Pikmin Plush video on your radar. Just saying. That's all. See you later, nerd.